Okay, we're ready for Bible, being Friday, April 17th. Today in Bible, just as a reminder, Psalm 103, verses 1 and 2 are due to me by the end of the month, so you have about two more weeks to work on that. Um, in our Bible reading today, we're going to work on uh, reviewing Psalm 1. So if you'll go ahead and turn to that, please. Psalm 1. And also, um, we're going to take a quiz today through each section of the crucifixion and resurrection sections that we've studied in Bible. Okay? So you'll need to have a sheet of paper for your Bible quiz. So if you need to pause the video, we're going to read Psalm 1, and then we're going to take our quiz. But I do need you to write your answers on a sheet of paper for a picture to be sent to me for a grade. So let's start with reading Psalm 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Okay, so that's our reading for this morning. So if you're ready for your quiz, number one on your paper um, is going to come from the triumphal entry when Jesus and the disciples are going into the city of Jerusalem. So number one, your question is, what did the disciple? I'm sorry, let me, let me start over. Number one, what did Jesus have the disciples bring to him before he entered into Jerusalem? He needed the disciples to go get something for him that he needed to be able to ride into the city. What was it? That's number one. I'm okay with spelling, but it has to be close. You know, you can't write macaroni and cheese and think I know that you meant something else. So it has to be close. Number two comes from lesson two, the Last Supper. So if you think about the Last Supper, number two. During the Last Supper, what did the disciples argue about? When Jesus told them that he was going to be crucified and die, what did they begin to argue about? It's number two. Number three also comes from the Last Supper. How did Jesus teach his disciples to be a servant? What did Jesus do to show them that they needed to be humble. Jesus did something. What did he do? Number four is going to come from the lesson from the Garden of Gethsemane. So number four, why did Jesus and the disciples go to the Garden of Gethsemane? What did they go there for? What did Jesus go, what did he do there? From the very beginning, what did he do? And he asked his disciples to do the same thing. So what, what did they go to the Garden of Gethsemane for? Number five comes from the Judgment Hall lesson. Once Jesus has been taken, um, Judas has betrayed him. So number five, this is the question. When Pilate wanted to release Jesus 
instead of the murderer Barabbas. Whom did the people choose? Did they choose Barabbas to be released? Or did they choose Jesus to be released? So number five, who did whom did the people choose to be released? Barabbas or Jesus? And do the best on your spelling you can. Number six, we're going to the crucifixion now. Who was crucified with Jesus? There are two other crosses. The, both of the two other men, were the, they had committed the same crime. So who was crucified with Jesus? This is number six. Number six, who was crucified with Jesus? Number seven comes from the resurrection lesson. Number seven, why did Pilate have guards placed outside of Jesus' grave? Why did Pilate have guards placed outside of Jesus' grave? Number eight, this comes from um, Emmaus in the upper room. Uh, the picture that I had, and there were people walking down a path. Remember that? So number eight, who walked and talked with the two people on the road to Emmaus? They were just walking along talking, and suddenly somebody appears. Someone appears. Who is that? That's number eight. Number nine, this is a yes or no answer. This comes from the breakfast on the shore with Jesus. Number nine, did the disciples catch any fish the night they went fishing? Did the disciples catch any fish the night they went fishing. Yes or no? Okay, and number 10 comes from our last lesson. Number 10. What was the challenge that Jesus gave the disciples? What is, what were, what were they left to do after Jesus left them. This is something that we should all be still carrying on until Jesus' return. What was the job they were given to do? That's number 10. All right, number 11, it's gonna be a bonus. And this is a very precise number. How many fish did the disciples catch after Jesus told them to throw their nets, cast their nets over the right side of the boat? How many fish were caught? Hmm. <laughs> it's a very specific number. It's five bonus points if you get it correct. It does not count against you if you don't. But how many fish 
did they catch? Okay, if you need any repeated, feel free, please feel free to rewind the video and um, get those that you need. But when you finish, just please have someone take a picture of it uh, for you and send it to me for a grade. And we'll be ready for math next.